All right, friends, this is week five of um, the continuation of week five. I had to stop last time because I had a faculty meeting, but now I'm back. Okay, so today we are going to get more into um, reading notes and also using the fingers of our left hand to change the pitches, just like we learned in the last couple weeks. We'll also be learning hot cross buns today. So it's a lot of pizzicato left, um, but hang in there. Okay, so last time we met, we did pages four and five, right, in the book, D string and A string stuff. Today, we're going to continue with the D string. However, we're only going to do page six. There's only a couple exercises on page six, but it features two brand new notes, G, high G, and F sharp. So the book is great because the book kind of like, if you ever forget anything, the, the big yellow boxes on the top of like the pages and stuff, they tell you what like the concept is that you're learning and stuff. So that's super helpful. So I want to look specifically at number 10. I'm not sure if this is going to look backwards when I publish it, but um, if it is, you can just look at your own book. Um, so we've got number 10. Let's read G. So like I said, this is high G. This yellow box will do, um, will teach you how to play the three notes that are found, new notes that are found on pages um, six and seven. But right now we're only going to talk about page six. So let's read G. So here's she up here and it tells you G is played with three fingers on the D string. So that means one, two, three, right in a little row, like little soldiers, okay? So let's play number 10. So make an L shape with your right hand, anchor your thumb on the fingerboard. This is what your note should sound like. So ready, here we go, three on D, one, two, ready, three on D, go. Rest, rest, easy, right? Okay, next new note, <clears throat> oops, wrong page, is F sharp. Now, this isn't like regular F, it's F sharp. See the sharp sign? It's not a hashtag. So we've got F sharp and you play F sharp. So F sharp is played with two fingers on the D string. So that's your pointer and your middle finger violinists, violist or not violist. Violinist and violas, it's your pointer and your middle. Cellist, Alyssa, my only cellist, for you, it's one and three, okay? That is F sharp and, and um, G is one, three and four, okay? All right, so let's do number 11 two fingers on D. So that's your pointer finger, farthest tape away from your face, and your middle finger on the middle tape. Make sure your wrist stays straight. Look at how much room I have between the violin and my wrist. You don't want your wrist to collapse. You'll never play, you, you'll never like reach a certain point. All right, so you'll, you, you'll always be kind of stuck like that. All right, so two fingers on the D string, make an L shape with your right hand, anchor your thumb. Let's play number 11. One, Two, ready, two on D, go. Rest, two, two, rest, two, 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 easy. All right, let's try number 12, lift off. Lift off uses threes and twos, or for you, cello, four and three. All right, so let's try it. It starts with G. Look at the um, look at the first note. See how there's the number three above it? Uh, those numbers are sort of like little, little cheats. They tell you how many fingers to put down on the string. So for example, the three above the G is three fingers on D, okay? All right, let's play it. Ready, three on D, one, two, ready, three on D, go. G, 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 press now two. Now, take out your um, little ragtime packet and turn to hot cross buns. Give you a second to do that. Okay, this doesn't look a thing like music, does it? 
So let me explain. I simplified everything. I took all of the note reading out and all of that stuff so that it's like easy as possible to understand and um, you don't have to worry about like reading all the notes and stuff, okay? So what string are we gonna be playing hot cross buns on? What do you think? The D string. Anybody have any idea what these numbers mean? Anybody? They are how many fingers you're gonna put down on the string. So this is two fingers, your pointer in your middle. This is one, your pointer, and this is zero, okay? This dash next to the, these notes means that you're gonna hold it out. It's like a half note, okay? Um, it's impossible to sustain a note with pizzicato other than like letting it ring out. Um, but we will be playing this one with our bow, but we're gonna learn it pizzicato right now. So I wanna focus on the first line. So put two fingers down on the D string. Okay, so L shape, pointer and middle, just like that. Two on D, ready, go. Two, now one, zero. Reset, two again, one, zero. Easy, that's like 90% of the song. All right, now, notice how these four zeros and these four ones are kind of like closer together than the other notes. These are the, um, faster. They're almost like eighth notes. So they become zero, 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 one, 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 and one is your pointer. So that sounds like this. Zero, 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 then one. So let's do that together. Ready? Starting with zero, one, two, ready, go. Zero, two, three, four, one finger. One, two. Four. Easy. And then you just finish it off with two, one, zero. Let's do that. Ready? Go. Two, one, zero. Easy, easy. Let's try it with the piano. It says repeat on your music, but we're not going to repeat it right now. Two, one, D. Ready? Two fingers, pointer and middle, or cello, one and three. One, two, two, one, D. Here we go. Two. Now one. Set, two on D, go. One, zero, four, zeros. 